Four years after its release on the PS4, Ghost of Tsushima has finally landed on PC as part of Sony's ongoing push into the market, and it has not disappointed. Following the success of renowned TV shows such as Shogun, gamers can once again immerse themselves in the wonderful world of the samurai in one of the best open-world games. Although the PC edition contains no new content, this journey is well worth embarking on in 2024. With the release of this PC port, Ghost of Tsushima has been re-released three times in the last few years. It was initially published on the PS4 to rave reviews before being upgraded for the PS5 with the director's cut, which received even more positive feedback. And now the PC version has updated the same journey with additional graphics options, making this iteration feel like the definitive one to play. As long as players have the proper machine to back it up, they won't want to miss this one. It's difficult not to know what Ghost of Tsushima is at this point, as it was a standout game for the PS4 when it initially came out, and it appears to have solidified itself as a key player in the open-world genre. The fighting alone has distinguished the title, as it completely immerses players in the experience of being a samurai. They must master several stances, time their attacks precisely, and remain mobile during combat. Furthermore, the wide range of instruments at their disposal allows them to approach these meetings in any way they see fit. The fighting is fantastic, but it would be meaningless without a compelling plot to back it up. Sucker Punch has crafted a compelling story about samurai fighter Jin Sakai, who fights to fight back against the Mongol Empire in the late 13th century. Players will watch as he struggles with what it means to be noble while doing everything he can to free his people. He must not only use unique techniques to win, but also follow the root of the ghost to instill fear in his opponents. Fortunately, he does not have to do it alone, as the island is full of interesting folks eager to help. Speaking about the island, the world built by Sucker Punch is breathtaking, especially on PC. Nothing beats the sounds of the woodland as the wind directs players towards their goals. The entire island explodes with color, and the Mongols' ruin seems as a scar among the beauty. If players are not attentive, they may become lost while exploring its countless locations for hours on end. The single major drawback to the main Ghost of Tsushima experience is that it does little to move away from the genre's conventional open-world cliches that have been in use for years. The globe is full with collectibles to find, several bases to clear out, and players must spend their time earning points for a fairly conventional talent tree. There is nothing fundamentally wrong with any of this, and it works well. But for anyone who is bored of these ideals, it does not go far enough to change that. If you're enjoying this video and want to stay updated with all the latest gaming content on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Your support means the world to me, so join our community and let's dive into the video. The PC version of Ghost of Tsushima is considerably more than just the acclaimed main adventure, it includes all of the director's cut material. Specifically, it includes various graphical upgrades, the Iki Island expansion, the Legends co-op mode, and a variety of cosmetics. While the cosmetics aren't particularly fascinating, the expansion and Legends mode are good ways to extend this trip beyond its finish. True to its name, the Iki Island expansion provides gamers with an entirely new island to liberate from the Mongols. The island is another stunning addition to Ghost of Tsushima, but the actual draw is the story. This quest brings Jin Sakai face to face with the Eagle, the leader of a cult-like group of Mongol invaders. She employs tremendous shaman and sorcery to bend the island to her will, and it is up to Jin to stop her. But as he makes his way through the island, he learns more about his clan's tragic history. The expansion's primary gameplay is similar to that of the base game, which is fine. The core game was a terrific experience, so adding more of it seemed like a simple victory. The addition of opponents such as the Shaman adds a little variety to the encounters. Furthermore, the real island is significantly more frightening than Tsushima, making exploring it a pleasure. Along with the Iki Island addition, the Legends game mode is a key component of the Director's Cut. 
Although it is not the most complex co-op option available, it does provide players with an enjoyable method to experience Ghost of Tsushima's combat and plot with friends. This mode allows players to play as one of four different warriors and either go on a brand new legendary adventure or fight back against waves of attackers in survival mode. Whatever mode they want, it can be a lot of fun with the proper folks. However, if gamers wish to join in, they must first create a PlayStation account. Of course, the biggest feature of this re-release is that it is now available on PC. Players have already seen all the Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut has to offer, but they've never had the opportunity to play it outside of the PlayStation Network. And while prior ports have been a mixed bag, this version of the game absolutely shines. So much so that some could consider it the only way to experience Jin Sakai's story. The PC port's new additions are primarily focused on graphical updates, which include an unlocked frame rate, new graphics options, and ultra-wide support. Through these additions, the world of Tsushima shines even brighter. There were seldom any graphical hiccups. The game ran extremely smoothly, and everything about it just worked. While players' experiences may differ depending upon the machine they have so far, it seems like this may be one of the best ports to come out recently. Although the game runs smoothly, the controls may be improved at times. The game was initially intended for controllers, and it can feel like it. Changing stances can be difficult at times because the keyboard and mouse need quite distinct play styles. Without a controller, it loses some of its ambience because players cannot sense wind flowing through their dual sense speakers. So, while PC controls offer higher precision, the game may still be best enjoyed with a controller. Overall, the Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut feels like an excellent port. The game was already an incredible open world adventure, but the PC version has enhanced it much further. While the controls can be clunky at times, this is likely the best way to play the game. Whether gamers are new to the game or returning, Jin Sakai's trip is well worth the price of admission. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button, leave a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome gaming content. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.